Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Why We Love Photography. This is Sadra and today we are going to take a look at Frank Horvath's photo diary. Frank Horvath is born in 1928 in Italy and lived most of his life doing fashion photography, especially in France. And as you can see in his website, uh, he has a lot of photos that I definitely recommend you to check out and see them or I better say observe them uh, It's very good for inspiration and also there is a beautiful sentence at the beginning of this website that says Photography is the art of not pushing the button which is a sentence that we can all think about but the book that we are going to take a look at today it's his photo diary. It simply says Frank Horvath photo diary 1999 and uh, it has nothing to do with fashion photography as you may guess and if you go through it and take a glance to it you can see that these are all some snapshots that may seem very random to you and maybe irrelevant but let's take a closer look to see what's special about it. So let's dig in. So as you can see, it's a very thick and if you could feel it, it's a very heavy book. That uh, it's not so big beside that. And so I'm not gonna show you all the pages and all the photos, but uh, randomly flipping through it you can see that there are some snapshots there are some portraits there are also some uh, city escapes and uh, there are some self portraits of him showing that he used a very small compact camera and because he already knew that uh, these photos are going to be used uh, in this photo book which are not printed very big and these photos are not exceeding uh, 18 to 13 centimeters in dimension and therefore he was able to use a small camera uh, a small digital compact camera to capture all these photos okay, I'm gonna show you very quickly all these photos to the end and then I'm going to mention the thing that made this book special okay as you can see it's a photo diary so you may want to expect something like this it starts with the name of the first month that is January and when you go through it, you realize that each photo has a caption of the dates that it's been taken and also the location. So for a whole year, he was traveling and this is the small camera that he used. Uh, he was traveling all over the Europe, like Germany, France, Spain and all these places and he dedicated one photo for each day to be printed here although I must say that uh, there are some days that uh, he has more than one photo for example uh, February 7 February 7 there are two pictures and then February 8 which he shot these in Paris and he mentioned the name of the months 
and around 30 pictures for each month so for example March April So when you see this book, it's a bit like a calendar that shows what he was doing in a specific date and where he was actually. And these photos are very different from uh, what he was actually doing. I mean, fashion photography, for example, in these pictures, you can see that uh, these are the models that he was supposed to take photos from and he also was doing this snapshot for his photo diary and there are also many explanations at the beginning which are written in German language so I cannot read them but at the end, there is a beautiful sentence from Goethe, German writer, that I asked a friend for translation and he said, uh, it's going to be like this. What is the hardest of all? What seems easiest to you? To see with your eyes what lies before your eyes. Which I know it's still very hard to get, but I asked him to explain more about it and he said that there is this uh, saying in Germany that uh, is like not being able to see the forest because of all the trees. And this sentence and probably all this book is about that saying, which uh, makes sense a little bit more now. So anyways guys, I hope that you enjoyed and like the video in order to improve us you can uh, introduce us to a friend of yours or subscribe or like the video thank you guys for watching and stick around for more videos peace